Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As the title says, I quit. Let me tell you what's going on for those who are new to the channel and don't know what's going on. I started a new job, I want to say almost a month ago. And when they came to me with it, with the job and said that I got the job, I was excited. It was a full-time position with good benefits. But the director failed to inform me that the position was at a prison. Yeah. I didn't find that out until my first week of training because I thought it was going to be like, a cafeteria food service um, building that will feed the workers or something like that. I didn't know it was at a prison until, let me see, can I get that light out of my face? Okay, so y'all can see me. Until during my training, the dietitian that was training me at the main building, he said, um, I ain't gonna say his name. The director, did he tell you where the position was at? I was like, no. He mentioned a name, other place, and I never heard of it before. So he was like, you going to a prison? You're gonna be serving the prisoners. I'm like, what? He said, yes. He said, those, the people that you're gonna be serving are the high dangerous criminals. I'm like, what? He didn't tell me that. He said he never tells anybody that because that's why they have such a high turnover rate. Because he luring people in without actually telling them where the job is at. And that's why they can't keep nobody. So he was like, um, if you get over there, you don't like it, you can come back over here and work over here with us. And I'm thinking, I'm going to give it a try. But I was also thinking this man should have told me that where the job was at and explain everything that comes along with the job. So get over there. My very first day, I had to be there at 545. Very first day, walking into the cafeteria, roaches all over the floor, everywhere. And the manager that was training me, she was like, oh, they must have sprayed. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, where are these roaches coming from? She's like, it's infested over here. I mean, laughing like it's funny. That's not funny because the health department coming here, they will shut y'all down. So <laughs> I don't do good with roaches. I'm telling you, fam, I don't do good with roach. I don't like them that. So after being there, you know, learning the process and everything that goes along with the job. So certain things, them things will be, we be serving the prisoners. They come up to a window, which they told me, the dietitian told, oh, you won't have no type of interaction with the prisoner or nothing like that. You feed them through a window. So you'll be okay. Lie. Big open space to where they can reach and touch you. Lie number two. But as we serving, you got roaches crawling all up the wall. Don't drop nothing, a piece of crumb on the floor. Millions of roaches all over the place. You got to shake your jacket clothes before you leave the building. You got to shake it before you get in the car. It was, it was just infested. And then it got so bad to where you be serving, them must be flying. <laughs> They be flying at you, fam. <laughs> they be flying at you. And the people that work there, it's like it's normal for them. And I'm like, don't y'all find me. I can't concentrate like this. Because I'm, I'm paranoid. I'm constantly looking down at my clothes and make sure it ain't nothing crawling on me. And I'm like, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. So that's number three, the reason why. I left. Number four, 
Come to find out that the utility, one of the utility rooms where they keep the food, juices, syrup, and stuff, you have to walk through the gym. And the prisoners are out in the opening. You have to walk through the gym to get to the other side, to the little closet. And you got prisoners everywhere. Not to tell now, this is an all-male prison. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. So, um, that's number four. The fifth reason is the trainer. Terrible. Terrible. I was threw off into this building full of roaches. No type of training. It's like I'm being thrown in the ocean and I can either swim or I can drown. She got to where she's supposed to be training me, which we supposed to be on the same schedule from six to two. It got to where after a couple of days, I guess she felt like, oh, she can handle it. She coming in nine to 10 o'clock. Mind you that a manager has to be there in the morning time at six. She leave before I leave. Bam. <laughs> when I tell you that was some terror. That was some terror. Because it's ridiculous. It is just plain out ridiculous. And r what really cut the cake for me was when they told me one of the supervisors, one of my supervisors I had called in. She was sick. The girl is throwing up, nauseated. But the other manager who was training me going to tell her, I don't care if you is sick or throwing up. You come to work. You a supervisor. You supposed to be here. Had the girl crying on the phone. You can't do that. I told her, you can't do that. This young lady is sick. Well, she going to tell me, well, you're going to have to stay to 830 tonight because they got to have a supervisor here with them. Uh, what? But you're the manager that's training me. You're on salary. But you want me to work from 6 in the morning to 8.30 at night. And then you are not going to let me get that overtime. You're going to cut me another day so I won't go into overtime. Yeah. I said, uh-uh. That's not going to work for me. That is not going to work for me. Because if I'm going to stay from open to the last serving at 8 o'clock at night, I want my overtime. No, you can't get overtime. I'm going to have to cut you another day. Well, I'm not staying. You the salary. You own salary. It's your responsibility to stay, not mine. So, between being lied to, roaches flying everywhere, just filth. Then you have an inmate that threw a tray at one of the associates because she left the ketchup off his tray. Threw it and hit her in the head. Ain't not going to be done to him. What? He got locked down for two days? He got life. So he doesn't care. No. I'm not working in a hostile environment like that. No. And that was hostile. Between the prisoners, the flying roaches, the management, I couldn't do it. The lies, I couldn't do it. So, fam, I had to get up out of there. I had to get up out of there. Mm -mm. I called my husband. He said, come home. Come home. Because when he found out that it was a prison, once I found out, he didn't want me to work there anyway. But I talked him into it to try to see. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, that's my story. <laughs> that's my story. I quit. I quit. I'm not doing it. God gave me too many signs that that ain't the place for you. That ain't the place for you. That ain't the place for you. So be careful. Know what's for you is from God. Because the devil be listening also. So until the next video, fam, y'all will be getting more uploads. Now that I'm back at home. Y'all have a blessed day.
and wonderful day. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Bye-bye, fans.